Welcome back to another episode everyone. Today we have some powder coating going on. We are going to be making these look a whole lot better. As you can see, they're in pretty hard shape. Looks looks like they left them in the ocean for about six years and then decided to make them look good. So stick around. See how they look. I'm going to get working on these, get them sandblasted down. And we'll show you what they look like after. Stay tuned. And there we have it. All these rims are set, ready to be outgassed. As you can see, the beads are clean, the faces are clean, the insides are done. So I think it's time to put them in the oven, get some heat on them, and move on to make them look new again. Hey everybody, as you can see, we've got some rims in the oven, ready to go. Today, we're gonna spray these uh, Toyota rims. This is also kind of a special video. This is the first time that I'm using the media mod on uh, my GoPro here. Hopefully get some better audio, make my voice sound a little better, but I highly doubt and uh, see if we can't make some better better content. I also noticed we had a few new people sign up, so I want to say thank you for clicking on the subscribe button. That's going to help everything grow in the future. Stick around for the ride. Let's spray some primer on these rims and uh, start making them look look better. I don't know if you remember seeing these before, but they definitely cleaned up a lot better than they were looking. They don't look like they were sitting in the bottom of the ocean anymore for 20 years.
and there we have it. Nice layer of primer sprayed down. We're going to bake, bake these, do a partial cure. If the pitting is still there, then we'll just we'll sand it down, put another coat of primer on, try and get it as smooth as possible. If they look decent enough, then we're going to put some silver on, throw some clear coat, and call them a day. Stick around. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. We have one of these rims out. And the pitting that was in the rim itself is still still quite visible. So I'm going to hit this with some uh, sandpaper, a DA sander. Smooth it down, put another coat of primer down, and see if we can't make these look real nice and smooth. So here we go. All right, we have our second coat of primer on these rims. It actually came out really nice. Pretty much 99% of all the pitting is gone. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some color on these. So stick around. I know you don't wanna sit there and watch me for the next 10 minutes spraying powder. So let's see if we can't make things go a little quicker for that. All right, we have our silver sprayed. Nice little metallic OE metallic silver finish. Now we get to put down a, a nice clear coat. Give these things a real good shine to them. But as you can see, where I did a lot of the, the sanding, it is, there's pretty much no pitting left at all. I think the customer will be happy with that. So let's get some clear going and uh, make these things really shine. Okay, we have just finished the time on these Toyota rims. They're all powder coated, done, and I'm sure you want to see what they look like. So, pretty say we open up this nice metal box and show you. Or not. Maybe I should let you wait a little longer. Nah, nah. If you remember what they looked like in the beginning, Looked like they were left in the bottom of the ocean for for a few years. And now, let's see if we can show some of that shine. Looks a whole lot better. Barrels are all done. The beads are done. Even inside. And as you can see, it's a real nice shine to it. It's 
So these are all done, ready to go. So now the customer can put it back on his vehicle and not be uh, not be embarrassed to see him. So if you like this, want to see more? I still got more to go. I got some old Mustang parts I'm doing, as well as some old uh, early '90s Chevrons doing. We're gonna be cleaning up the same as these, as well as some handrails for a house. Those are gonna be real. Gonna have real fun with the work on those. So if you want to see more, if you like what you see, click that subscribe button, click a like, let me know what you think, and until the next video, stay warm and keep it loud.